show planned for this morning and it all starts with finding out what to watch. All right, and joining us now is film critic Dale Pollock, and he has three titles to review for us this morning. And let's start with Priscilla. What do you think? Well, this is based on Priscilla Presley, who is 78 years old now, and of course, her marriage to Elvis Presley when she was still a teenager. And she turned Graceland into what amounts to a national monument now. Sofia Coppola, the daughter of the famous director Francis Ford Coppola, directs this film. And it's not as good as some of her other efforts, but it's very watchable. And Kalia Spaney, uh, she's an actress I'm unfamiliar with, does very well in the title role. And then there's this young actor, Jacob Elordi, who plays Elvis. He doesn't look like him, but he sounds exactly like him. And he also makes the film come alive. But by the end, you don't really know any more about Priscilla Presley than you knew kind of at the beginning of the movie. So although it's pleasant to watch and there's great music, obviously, because of the Elvis mm -hmm. soundtrack, it's just not ultimately a very satisfying portrait. I really didn't feel, I didn't know what made her tick at the end any more than I did at the outset. Now, of course, there's... So I'm giving it three pop birds. Three, okay. okay. So, of course, there was another recent Elvis... Uh, movie now how, how would you think the two compare uh, they're very different because Austin Butler plays Elvis with an enormous amount of energy and that's not the Elvis we see in this film okay. we never see him perform because of course the music rights are very expensive and they didn't want to get them all so it's really a character study of a woman who comes into her own and realizes how she needs more in her life than just being married to a celebrity and so that's the journey Sofia Coppola takes us on. It's an interesting one. It's not a dynamic one. Interesting. Well, three, not bad. Not, not too terrible. Maybe worth it if you're into the characters. Mm -hmm. So exactly. what about The Killer on Netflix? This is, I think, maybe the best movie made for a streaming channel that's on right now. It comes from an expert director, David Fincher, who did Seven, Gone Girl, Zodiac. He's one of the top directors working in America today, and he does not disappoint with this story of a professional assassin who is flawless in his execution. And at the beginning of the movie, he misses. He's never missed before, and his miss leads to all kinds of complications with people trying to kill him for blowing the assignment. Michael Fassbender plays the title role. You know, he was, has been played Steve Jobs, he's been an X-Men, he's a very, very strong actor, and he gives a spellbinding and riveting performance in this film. I really can't recommend this highly enough. I mean, obviously, if you don't like violence, this is not the, sh the film for you, but it is dramatic, it's, it's unexpected in how it unfolds, and it's just really so gripping. I can't think of anything else I've watched on my TV lately that's been this powerful. So I give this four popcorns. It's one of the best films I've seen this year. Nice. Hmm. I'm going to have to check that one yeah. out. But last but not least, what about A Town Called Victoria on PBS? Well, you know, these PBS series tend to fly under the radar. This is one that I think is worth picking up. It's set in a small town in central Texas that has a large Muslim community. And this community has built itself a mosque. And at the beginning of this three-episode series, the mosque is burned down by someone in the town. And this causes a great deal of soul-searching, both in the residents of the city and also in the Muslim uh, community and in their efforts to rebuild the mosque. It's only three episodes. It's deeper than you think. It's a fascinating look in America and how different communities can try to coexist. And so it's a very positive film, ultimately, even though there's a bittersweet ending to it. And again, I don't talk about too many PBS series. This is one that caught my eye, and I think it's well worth watching. I'm giving it three popcorns. It's not the most uh, stellar work that I've ever seen on PBS, but it's involving and it's interesting, and it's very relevant today as we have sectarian religious uh, clashes all over the world. And Dale, you, when you talked about that, it kind of reminds me of a series that you talked about recently, and I can't remember the name of it right now, but it was a, um, a crime they were investigating in a small town, and you kind of got to understand the dynamics of that small town. Do you know what I'm talking about? 
I don't remember that okay. one. I'm just, okay, so it kind of reminds me of that concept. I, I, uh, Kayla says they were, our producer Kayla says they were in Australia for the one that I'm thinking of. She kind of remembers it too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't quite recall the details, but this one is definitely worth checking out. Okay. Very good. All right. Well, thank you, Dale, for being here and giving us those reviews. And here are those titles in case you missed them. Priscilla is now playing in theaters and The Killer is streaming on Netflix and A Town Called Victoria is streaming on PBS. You can find more reviews on DaleMPollock.com. And if you want to, you can also find them on our WXII YouTube page. Just search playlist titled Movies in Review.